Once upon a time, in a tranquil village, nestled amidst rolling hills and serene landscapes, there lived a revered sage named Rishi. He was known throughout the land not only for his wisdom, but also for his remarkable ability to guide people in controlling their emotions. Rishi's journey towards emotional mastery began when he was just a young boy. He had always been highly sensitive, often overwhelmed by his own emotions. Growing up in the village, he witnessed the havoc that unchecked emotions could wreak in people's lives. He saw friends and family torn apart by anger, jealousy and sorrow. This ignited a deep desire within him to understand the nature of emotions and to help others control them. One day, as Rishi sat beneath a majestic Bodhi tree, he observed the flow of a nearby river. The river's calm surface mirrored the peacefulness he sought within himself. He realized that, much like the river, emotions came and went. They were impermanent and ever changing. This insight became the cornerstone of his lifelong quest. Rishi embarked on a journey to seek guidance from a renowned sage named Ananda, who resided high in the mountains. Ananda was known for his profound understanding of the human mind and emotions. When Rishi reached Ananda's hermitage, he found the sage in deep meditation, his eyes reflecting the serenity of a tranquil lake. With great reverence, Rishi approached Ananda and shared his burning desire to learn the art of controlling emotions. Ananda welcomed him with a warm smile and took him under his wing. For years, Rishi delved into rigorous training, studying ancient stories, scriptures and practicing meditation with diligence. Under Ananda's guidance, Rishi learned to observe his emotions without judgment. He discovered the power of mindfulness, which allowed him to witness the ebb and flow of emotions within himself. Slowly but steadily, he gained control over the turbulent seas of his feelings. One day, after years of intensive practice, Rishi approached Ananda and said, Master, I have learned to observe my emotions, but I still struggle to control them in the heat of the moment. How can I truly master the art of controlling emotions? Ananda looked deeply into Rishi's eyes, his voice filled with compassion and said, Dear disciple, true mastery lies not just in observing emotions, but in understanding their origins and harnessing their energy. Emotions are like wild horses. To control them, you must first befriend them not suppress them. Rishi absorbed these words and realized that he needed to delve deeper into the roots of his emotions. He began to explore the triggers and patterns that led to his emotional reactions. Through contemplation and introspection, he unraveled the tangled web of his feelings. To further his journey, Ananda encouraged Rishi to engage in self, compassion, Rishi began to treat himself with the same kindness and understanding he offered to others. He understood that self, criticism and harsh judgment only fueled negative emotions. With time, self, compassion became a powerful tool in his emotional toolkit. Rishi also learned the art of transforming negative emotions into positive actions. Anger, instead of erupting into conflict, could be harnessed into a force for change. Sorrow, rather than paralyzing, could become a wellspring of empathy and compassion. Word of Rishi's transformation quickly spread through the village, and people from all walks of life sought his guidance. They came to him burdened by anger, anxiety and despair, seeking solace and understanding. With his serene presence and profound wisdom, Rishi helped them navigate the turbulent seas of their emotions. He taught them that emotions, when understood and harnessed, could be powerful allies on life's journey. 
Instead of being swept away by the tempest, they could learn to navigate through it. One day a young woman named Lila approached Rishi, her face clouded with anxiety. She had been struggling with chronic worry and fear, unable to find peace within herself. Rishi sat with Lila in silence, allowing her to express her anxieties without interruption. He listened with an open heart, holding a space of compassion for her distress. After some time, Lila looked up at Rishi and asked, Master, how can I control my anxiety? How can I find peace amidst this overwhelming fear? Rishi smiled gently and said, Dear Lila, anxiety is a natural response to the uncertainties of life. It is vital to honor your emotions and allow them to flow freely. But remember, anxiety is not eternal. It is impermanent, like all things in life. By fully experiencing and embracing your fears, you can find the strength to control them and discover inner peace. Over time, Lila began to practice the art of controlling her emotions. She learned to accept her anxiety without resistance, acknowledging it as a part of her. She learned to accept her anxiety without resistance, acknowledging it as a part of her emotional landscape. Slowly but steadily, Lila found solace in the impermanence of her emotions, understanding that they would come and go like passing clouds in the sky. As the years passed, Rishi's reputation as a sage who could guide people in controlling their emotions continued to grow. People traveled from distant lands to seek his wisdom and learn from his teachings. Rishi's humble hermitage had become a sanctuary for those seeking emotional balance and inner peace. One day, a man named Arjun arrived at the hermitage. He had heard of Rishi's remarkable ability to help people control their emotions and had traveled a great distance to seek his guidance. Arjun was consumed by anger and it had caused turmoil in his personal and professional life. Rishi greeted Arjun with a warm smile and invited him to sit. Arjun's face was etched with frustration and resentment. He longed for a way to control his anger and find peace within himself. Rishi, with deep empathy, began to guide Arjun in the art of controlling emotions. He explained that anger, like any emotion, was a messenger. It carried valuable information about unmet needs and boundaries. By listening to his anger and understanding its source, Arjun could begin to control it. Rishi taught Arjun the power of mindfulness and how to pause before reacting in the heat of the moment. He encouraged Arjun to breathe deeply, creating a space between stimulus and anger and response. In that space, Arjun could choose a more balanced and constructive way to express his feelings. As days turned into weeks, Arjun diligently practiced Rishi's teachings. He learned to recognize the early signs of anger, giving him the ability to take a step back before it consumed him. With time, he gained control over his anger, transforming it from a destructive force into a catalyst for positive change. One quiet evening, as Rishi and Arjun sat by the fire, the flames danced to the rhythm of the night. Arjun, now a transformed man, whispered, Master, you have shown me the path to controlling my emotions, especially my anger. I am forever grateful for your guidance. Rishi smiled and replied, Arjun, remember that it was you who found the strength within yourself to control your emotions. I am merely a guide. The true mastery lies in your ability to harness your emotions and find peace within. Arjun nodded in deep understanding. He realized that the art of controlling emotions was a lifelong journey, not a destination. It required patience, resilience, and unwavering compassion for oneself and others. 
As the years passed, Rishi continued to serve as a guiding light for those seeking to control their emotions. His humble hermitage remained a place of solace and transformation for countless individuals. Each person who left his hermitage was equipped with the wisdom to navigate the complex terrain of their emotions. Rishi's life had become a testament to the transformative power of understanding and controlling one's emotions. His teachings had instilled in people the ability to ride the waves of their feelings rather than being swept away by them. He had empowered them to find peace and serenity within, regardless of life's challenges. The story of Rishi, the sage who mastered the art of controlling emotions, reminds us that emotions are a part of the human experience. Instead of suppressing or being controlled by them, we have the power to understand and channel their energy for personal growth and positive change. May we all strive to become masters of our emotions and find the serenity that lies within the depths of our own hearts. Thank you.